Fully functional nuclear reactors can now be added into your Create factories using the Create New Edge mod. These reactors are powered using thorium and in this video I'm gonna mess around with them in my creative world hopefully showcasing some of the mechanics of this mod and also how you can convert all of the rotational energy into RF or FE. Now this whole build is not very big so it's gonna fit perfectly in this one chunk area which is good cause it's gonna make chunk loading that much easier. Now I have marked out the positions for all of the components that we are gonna use. Nuclear reactors, the boiler, speed conversion, generator coils and finally the batteries for storing all of the power that we are gonna produce. So let's start with the reactor components. We first have the reactor casing and glass. Both of these are counted as structural blocks and can be interchanged according to your design. Reactor rod will hold all of the fuel, the fuel inserter will insert fuel and the heat vent will get all of the heat out of the reactor. Then the heat pipe, the heat pump and the boiler heater are to heat up the boiler to produce rotational power from the reactor. So we start by making a 4x4 base of reactor casing and in the middle we are going to place reactor glass. You can even use solid blocks here if you want. Place 4 temporary blocks and then 8 reactor rods in a 2x2 pattern like this. Get rid of the temporary blocks and on one of the sides now place down the reactor fuel inserter. And on the opposite end we are going to use the vent, the heat vent. Now do remember that the reactor inserter, the fuel inserter can access 32 fuel rods so you can make very big reactors. Now we are going to close off this whole design with reactor glass. It's important to close off because if your reactor is running in the open and you are not wearing protection like leather armor, it's going to give you a lot of negative effects. Now in front or basically on top of the fuel inserters, place down funnels, the underside funnel or brass funnel and make sure the arrow is pointing in the right direction. Let's talk about fuel now. So fuel for this reactor is going to be thorium. Once you mine thorium, you can mix it with water, stone and clay in order to get two pieces of thorium. So basically four doubling. One of these pieces can go back into the system in order to make two more and the other one can go into the grinding stones. And the grinding stone will give you a 10% chance of obtaining radioactive thorium. So radioactive thorium is going to be the fuel for this nuclear reactor. So once you have enough radioactive thorium, you can use an assembly line like this with two presses and one deployer in the middle. And the deployer is going to have iron sheets. So radioactive thorium will get stamped with the sheet and stamped again and there we are going to obtain a nuclear fuel which is ready to be used in the nuclear reactor and of course you can speed this process up according to your needs and it's going to go pretty fast like this so basically that's how you obtain nuclear fuel now let's start with the boiler section so place down heat pipe in a 3x3 pattern like this and on top of them place down the boiler heater and now we are going to connect heat pipes all the way back to a nuclear reactor. Now I am gonna place a heat pump here but I recommend that you don't really do that as it's causing a meltdown. The pipes are melting down as the pipes have a lower melting point of 10,000 degrees Celsius. But for now I am gonna place a heat pump then on top of the boiler heater make a 3x3 three three tank 8 high in total and then place down 18 steam engines in a 6x3 formation. For water, I'm gonna go with a creative tank and uh, the thermal duct or the du fluid duct from thermal expansion. Now connect all of the shafts for the steam engines and once that's done, we are gonna connect all of the outputs into a single shaft, which is going to run the generator coil. For the generator coil, you can use a lot of magnets. I'm going with netherite because it is the most efficient one. Place these in a three by three formation like this and ignore the corners as we don't really want to waste them and the right is expensive now place a temporary block in the middle and place down three generator coils stacking them like this and now to bump up the speed of the boiler output i'm going to use a rotation speed controller bump up the speed all the way to 256 place down a large cog wheel and connect the output to the generator coils this will ensure that the generator coils produce the maximum power that they can so this whole thing is done and uh, yeah in order to actually get the power out you need to place a carbon brush in the front like this so that's the generator coil section done and the boiler section complete 
and now we can move on to power storage which is going to be the accumulator from create crops and addition so place them in a 3 by 3 format 4 high in total so each one of them will have 72 million fe storage capacity place down large connectors on the brush and on the accumulators the connector is going to be in push mode two of them will be in the pull mode and yeah so oh sorry the brush will be in pull mode i'm sorry yeah the brush will be in the pull mode and connect them like this and we are actually ready to start this reactor so place down a stack of nuclear fuel rods in each of the funnels like this and as soon as we have enough stress that the generator coils can start spinning this whole system will activate and as you can see our pump is actually dumping a lot of heat in the pipes that are in the plant so the heat will rise up like very quickly we are already at the max boiler size but the heat is like too much and that is why it kind of causes the pipes to melt down after some time but for now we are producing 6.5 k fe per tick so yes that's pretty good and yeah as you can see the boiler heaters are not fluctuating this is going to change when i'm going to remove the heat pump but for now this system is working at its max capacity and yeah heat levels are <laughs> completely through the roof next up this is what happens when you basically don't close your reactor completely so we are gonna get nausea to withering to mining fatigue and poison too so that's the effect that you get when you are basically bombarded with radiation the way to protect yourself is by wearing a complete leather set even one piece missing and you are gonna get all of these negative effects on you so that is how you protect yourself against radiation in this mod and here is how that meltdown is gonna look like by the way so as you can see all of the pipes in the front side melted first and then the complete pipe system the heat pipes all of them melted up so a simple solution for this reactor is going to be that don't really use the heat pump as i told you in the beginning just use normal heat pipes and that should actually prevent melting down but then again i am also trying this mod out for the first time so i am sorry if like your reactor exploded or something like that but uh, it shouldn't really happen uh, like this design has been running for quite some time as you can see both of the accumulators are nearly full now and also chunk loading helps by the way. so yeah make sure to chunk load your reactor so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you have any suggestions for me leave them in the comment section below i'll see you guys next time peace out